An undercover wasp, a fly acting as a transport for creepy parasites, a bulldog ant. All of these insects have terribly painful bites. What can make them angry and what might be the consequences? You're about to find out and see it. In this issue, you'll learn what happens after being bitten by various insects. Let's go! Velvet Ant The bite of this particular wasp, of which I'll now speak, is one of the most painful in the whole world. And you're going like, why a wasp? Isn't it an ant? No, in fact, the velvet ant is a species of wasp. It's called so for its unusual appearance without wings, but with a characteristic body covered with thick and very bright hairs of bright red and black colors. The main weapon of this dangerous insect is its long and at the same time flexible stings. At the same time, these very stings are modified reproductive organs, causing any prey very much trouble. By trouble, I mean severe burning pain. Paradox is that no venom is injected at the moment of the sting of the wasp. It's also interesting that these wasps are quite an ancient species. Fossilized representatives were found in Dominican amber, which was 25 to 15 million years old. Here is such an ancient inhabitant of Earth, which is worth knowing about, but it's best not to encounter. Carpenter Bee You have to agree that the carpenter bee sounds very noble and harmless as if it's the most ordinary bee which has no venom, no aggression, and is only engaged in its bee business and is always building something. However, as much as we might like it, the opposite is true in life. The carpenter bee is a rather rare species of bee that's even listed in the Red Book. The reason why there are so few of these beautiful bees is the cutting down of deadwood. The problem is that's their main habitat. These creatures are not aggressive, they are completely peaceful and calm, as long as someone doesn't disturb their peace or comfort zone. Otherwise, the carpenter bee immediately becomes active and begins to defend itself as zealously and desperately as possible. Its sting is much more unpleasant than the sting of an ordinary bee, and if the throat is affected, it can be fatal for humans. The reason for such an outcome is that together with the sting, the insect injects an appropriate dose of venom into the victim's body. Therefore, if suddenly someone sees a bee which resembles not a bee at all, but some huge fly or a bumblebee, it's better to stand still and not to annoy it. You never know how it can turn out. And here are a few more interesting facts about this bee. This species is not infected by mites, which are a real disaster for ordinary bees. And these creatures can also collect pollen, even from flowers that have very long corolla. The common bee will retreat, but the carpenter bee will use its powerful jaws to gnaw a hole in the petals, thus freeing a passage to the nectar. Tsetse Fly I think that almost every person on Earth has heard about this fly sometime, somewhere. Everyone knows that it's dangerous, but many people have no idea what it is. Let's open the veil of mystery and get acquainted with this unusual insect. On the face of it, this fly is completely harmless. The only weapon it has is this skewer on its front, with which, like a policeman, it stops passing creatures with blood. It's this proboscis that helps the tsetse to get food. But would you be surprised if I told you that the tsetse fly does not kill other creatures with its proboscis at all? Yes, it can suck out more blood in one bite than it weighs. For that, by the way, they call it the vampire fly. But its bite won't hurt more than that of a horsefly. Plus, it has no venom whatsoever, although there are tens and hundreds of thousands of victims of these flies every year. You might say, well, this must be some kind of magic outside of Hogwarts. How can a fly that doesn't have a painful bite and at the same time has no venom carry any danger at all? I'll tell you. The fact is that poor tsetse flies are used by other deadly creatures as a bus. I'm talking about trypanosomes. Thanks to the insect, they travel between the rich inner worlds of various animals. When the tsetse fly bites an infected animal, the unwanted saboteurs enter its stomach and then migrate to its salivary glands. Many native animals have long ago learned to resist these creatures, but all newcomers that have recently arrived in the tsetse fly habitat become irretrievably sick and die. Such is the sad and unusual story of the bite. Fire Ant 
Next, we have another extremely dangerous creature that's best avoided not only by humans but by any other creature. The fact is that the bite of this tiny creature feels like a severe burn wound. According to statistics, about 5% of all cases with their bites turned out to be fatal. The main reason for this unhappy end of the story is an allergic reaction that can lead up to anaphylactic shock. These ants also inject various acids into the victim's body. The venom doesn't just cause burns. The sensation is comparable to a burn from fire. It's sharp and sudden pain. Blister and redness appear on the affected area. The worst thing about this story is that there are quite a few ants like this, and they're clearly not going anywhere or decreasing in numbers. It's quite the opposite. Red fire ants used to live only in the middle of South America. However, they later made their way with merchants to the United States, and from America they were spread literally all over the world. Australia, the Philippines, New Zealand. Today you can find these dangerous creatures almost anywhere. In addition, red fire ants can easily survive any adversity and bad weather. Drought and floods are no problem for them. When the ant hill is flooded with water, the ants create a large raft, in the center of which is the queen. Involuntarily, I begin to think that in another couple of hundred years, these insects will take over the world at this rate. And now I'll show you a rather unusual and at the same time insanely dangerous and aggressive ant, which each of you can immediately distinguish by its appearance. Meet the bulldog ant. This creature lives somewhere in Australia. These ants are extremely aggressive. They are not afraid of people or animals, and when they are attacked, they instantly make several bites at once, each of which is not at all blank. With the help of them, bulldog ants inject venom into the victim's body. The jaws of this ant are extremely strong, and its venom is comparable to… I don't even know what to compare it to. In general, it is one of the most toxic venoms among all insects. This insect holds its prey with its large serrated jaws curving its body beneath them and plunging its sting into the skin, causing serious and life-threatening allergic reactions. There have been documented cases in which bulldog ants have been able to kill an adult human. Surprisingly, people died in record time within just 15 minutes. Fortunately, it is more than realistic to find this ant somewhere nearby or on a branch. It grows up to 1.1 inches in length and has a relatively bright coloration. But let's not talk about the appearance of this ant. It's better to get back to its bite and talk about it a little more in detail. The stings of these ants have no serrations, so when they bite their prey, the sting doesn't remain in the skin, which allows them to bite repeatedly without hurting themselves. As I said before, the venom that bulldog ants inject is one of the most toxic insect venoms. At the same time, each species of these ants has different compositions of the venom. Once someone gets in the way of the bulldog ant and limits its space, problems are inevitable. Aggressiveness is its second nature. Even closed shoes won't help a person hide from the anger of such an ant. These insects can burn through fabric. And so, systematically, we come to one of the most, and in the opinion of many people, the most dangerous insect in the world. The one that can really hurt you, both literally and figuratively. I'm talking about the bullet ant, the creature which length usually doesn't exceed an inch. In this case, the expression, little pigeons can carry great messages, is perfectly suitable, because this ant possesses the most powerful venom in the insect world. The stinging bite of this tropical species is compared to getting a bullet into the flesh. At the same time, the painful sensations will last the whole day. There are enough thrill-seekers in the world who are willing to test the bite of this insect on themselves. According to them, the bite of the bullet ant is much more painful and unpleasant than even the bite of a tarantula. Who would have thought, really? Fortunately, today you can only find this ant in South and Central America. Oh, and there's one more positive factor that allows us to relax at least a bit. As dangerous as bullet ants can be, they never attack first. First of all, they warn their opponents with a loud hiss and emission of an unpleasant odor. If the warning signals don't work, the sting comes into play. That's all, guys. Which insect scares you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.